Hey everyone, I'm Aaron, one of the founders of Mito. Mito is a spreadsheet that lives inside of your Jupyter Notebook or other Python environment and generates the equivalent Python code for every single edit you make inside of the Mito spreadsheet. Thousands of analysts are already using Mito to take their Excel expertise and convert them into Python automations. Let me show you exactly how that would work. I've already imported two datasets into my Mito spreadsheet. The first is this fund info, which is information about Vanguard mutual funds. And the second is the performance data set, which is the month over month returns for the same set of mutual funds. Before we build our pivot table, I want to do a little bit of data pre-processing. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new column and we want to get from the other data set, the fund manager. To do so in Mito, I'm going to use the exact same approach that I would if I was in Excel. I'm going to open the formula. I'm going to write a VLOOKUP formula and pull in data from the other data set. So Mito has performed the VLOOKUP and generated the equivalent Python code in the code cell below. That means I, take, I took the exact same approach that I would if I was in Excel and I was able to generate Python code with it. The next thing that I want to do is if I look at this fun um, column, I see that some of them have a percentage sign in it. I don't usually report with that percentage sign, so I'm just going to do a quick find and replace to remove that percentage sign from my column. Perfect. Now that I've done a little bit of data pre-processing, I'm going to actually build my pivot table. To do so, I'm going to add the fund and the manager along the rows, and we're going to look at the month over month returns. But I want to break this out not just for the year 2022, but actually for each month of 2022. And so what I can do is I can add the dates and I can say I want to group this by the year and the month. Now, if we look along the top, we have 2021, 01, 2022, 02, 2023, etc. This is the report that I wanted to start to show my manager, but they probably want to see it with a little bit more kind of formatting and maybe in Excel. So let's do both of those. The first thing I'll do is I'm going to apply some conditional formatting. Let's look at for all of those month returns, if the value was greater than zero, so we had positive returns. Let's highlight this in a nice green and maybe we'll set the background as well. And similarly for negative return months, let's draw our attention to those as well. Now that I've applied conditional formatting to this report, the last thing to do before I can call this done is I actually want to generate an Excel file that looks exactly like this because I know my manager is going to want to see the report in Excel, not in a Python environment. To do so, all I'll do is click download file. I'll download this as an Excel file and I'll preserve the formatting while I do it. And I'll click this generate export code button. If I scroll down inside of the Jupyter Notebook, I see this big Python script that Mito generated automatically. It corresponds one-to-one -to, -one to every single edit that I've made inside of the Mito spreadsheet. And if I now click on this code and click the Run button, if I open my File Explorer, I see that I've created a new file called the Vanguard XLSX file. I can now download this file as an Excel file. And if I open it, I have the exact same report inside of Excel. It has the conditional formatting and all of the data that we were just looking at. Now that I've built the report once using Mito and Python, I can rebuild the report over and over again without ever having to actually reconfigure the report in an Excel or Mito spreadsheet again. Let me show you what that looks like. I have all of this Python code and to rebuild this report, all I have to do is come up to the data tab, click change imports and select the most up-to-date performance data. In this case, I'm just going to re-sign in with a username and password for the database that I'm accessing this data from and click the update import button. Now when I click change imports, Mito is going to rerun this report on new data. If I now run that code again and go back to my file system, I can re-download the data uh, for my new report. That's one of the powers of generating Python scripts. You can rebuild and automate the report creation process over and over again. Not only that, but also throughout the process of generating Python code, 
we're likely to catch small manual mistakes that we've made in the report creation process in Excel. This is something that we hear over and over again as we talk to Mito users. Because Mito is open source and it can run completely locally, analysts at even some of the most security conscious financial institutions are able to adopt Mito very easily. If you're interested in learning, learning more about Mito or bringing Mito to your team, you can learn more at trymito.io or reach out to the team at founders at sagacollab.com. Thanks.